Hey everybody, what's up? This is Zach from Rocket Zero, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to make a time lapse using a video recording. So, if you're not familiar, this is Sony Vegas uh, Pro 12. This will work in uh, pretty much all pros, and it will work in uh, Movie Studio, but it takes a little bit longer because you don't have a feature that we have here. At least, we didn't since I had Movie Studio. Platinum I think it was but you can still do it so I'll show you how you just pretty much have to skip a step and do a couple more so we're gonna go to where our footage is at and I used a GoPro and it was a longer recording so it split it into two files just make sure you have those two files and uh, try to save it all in one general folder so I'm gonna get these drag it in there and then throw that in there and this one right at the end because this one came second and it's gonna do all of this stuff we can actually skip it because we don't need the audio so if we just select this hit delete it gets rid of the audio so we're gonna go up here to properties and we're going to make sure that all of this is how we want it. So this uh, footage was, let's see, 1920 by 1080. And that's really good. So try to film it as high resolution as you can. If you are... Uh, if you know that you're going to only make it a time lapse, you don't need to film it in like 60 frames per second or something like that. You can use something really low, like 24, maybe even lower. Uh, just make sure it's not too low. But I did this at 24 because it does the file doesn't need to be extremely big because it's just, just getting uh, compressed anyway. So we're going to leave this because I want the final product to be 29.97. I'm going to hit OK. Now at the beginning of this video, I... Uh, kind of walk off screen. I'm not sure where though. Because I kind of, I set the video and then I walk off this way. Well, it doesn't really matter. Apparently I didn't, but I definitely did not stay there the whole time. But just in case I did and I missed it, I'm just gonna get rid of like the first 30 seconds or so. Cause I might've messed with the camera a little bit or just something, something might've happened. And then over here, I walked back on camera to get rid of, or to stop the recording. So I saw myself there. So I'm going to, let's see right there I'll hit S to split it and I'll get rid of the second half of that or the second part of that video so I want all these to be together if you see I move this they don't move together so I'm gonna hit control Z I'm gonna select them both so click this one shift click this one and hit G and they move together or you can go to group and uh, create new but they both have to be selected. So now I'm gonna slam this all the way to the end and then I'm going to click on this one. This is the part that you Movie Studio Platinum people cannot do. Insert video envelope event velocity. You get this green line in here. Now you're gonna move that all the way up to where it's 300%. And you might not be able to tell in this video but there's going to be two little triangles right here and that's it's going to be a third of the way through that basically just means right here it's going to start looping again because we basically just sped it up by 300 percent so it's only a third the length that it was before so there's going to be if since the end is right here it's looping three times so this is one triangle this is the second time triangle and this is the third time so we only need it to loop one or not even loop we don't want it to loop we want it to just play through once so I'm gonna drag this all the way to the first triangle and if you have snapping on 
uh, this one right here, make sure this is on, it should just snap straight to the triangle. And actually, we're going to hit U to ungroup it so that we can move it independently now and slam it up against here. But we don't want to do that yet. So we're going to do click on this one. We're going to do the same thing. Video envelope, event velocity, slam it up to the top. We're going to zoom in a little bit here. There's the first triangle all the way up against it. So now we have these, the whole video is compressed by a third, but we can go even more. This is what people without a pro will just do. You hit control, or let's, you go here to the end of the video, you hit control, hold it, and you get a little squiggly line, and it changes to time stretch. Normally, if you move it like this, it just moves the thing. You get the triangle and all that. However, if you hit control and drag it, it compresses it even more. And you can do that up to 400%, I believe. So then you get the squiggly line, and it'll stop you. It'll tell you, oh, you can't do it anymore. So we're going to do the same thing to this one. Control, drag it in. And now put them right up against each other. They should snap. And now our video is 1 minute and 42 seconds long. Before, it was way over here at like 30-ish seconds or so, or 30-ish minutes. It wasn't a very long time lapse, but uh, I just wanted to film it so I could make a tutorial on it. Uh, so now we have this, a minute and 42 seconds. But we're going to want to go more than that. We want to get I, the original that I did, this final one, was 20 seconds. So well, we have to render this out still. So we're going to go to render as. We're going to browse and find the video where we or find the place where we want to save it. So this is where I have the originals and I've already rendered it, but I'm just going to walk through it anyway. Uh, and we're just going to name it. I named it render underscore zero one. So I know this is the first sped up render. But we're going to go to uh, main concept AVC AAC. It's a dot mp4 file and I have a template already but you can just click any of them choose customize template we're gonna make it HD 1080 and 29.97 and all of it should be the same whether you click on any of these but this is how you want it to look we don't really care about audio uh, we can actually uncheck include audio if you want and it'll be you want vendor video rendering quality best we'll hit OK and then you hit render and it'll take a little bit, probably like, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe, I'm not really sure. But the longer the video is, the more you compress it, the longer it's going to take to render. I've had, I've made some before that took upwards of like two and a half hours. hours. So it could take a long time. So after that's done, you'll have render 01, drag that in, drag that in here, get rid of the audio since there is none. Make sure, especially if you're reopening up the program, you click on this up here, Project Properties, and this is all where it needs to be. And then, so we can get it to 20 seconds here. This is where I want it to be. That was my goal from the beginning. I wanted to make it a 20 second time lapse. So right here is 20 seconds. The way that I prefer to do it is insert a video envelope event velocity first because I can just go all the way to the triangle. Now I can do a little bit more fine tuning as to where I want the video to end. Where, so I can hit control, stretch it and just stop it, boom, right at 20. Whereas if I did it the other way, I would uh, control, drag first, and then I'd have to like time the percentage just perfectly. So just take my word for it, whenever you decide uh, put that back where it was whenever you decide that you want to like when you know that you're gonna get hit the time mark for that render do event velocity first and then control stretch if you're a plat uh, movie studio person then you don't need to worry about it because you can only do control drag so if you're a movie studio uh, person you're gonna need to kind of just control do the control drag and it may take a couple more uh, render sessions versus if I uh, you're using the event velocity but it doesn't really matter it's just 
It's going to take a little bit more time, but you still get the same result. So this is where we want it to be, 20 seconds. And now we can kind of, since we know that this is going to be the final uh, render, we can add our any color correction or anything like that that we want to do. So let's say you want to switch up the color a little bit, go to color curves. Uh, this is a sky thing, or it's a, like kind of a cloud time lapse. So if we have blue, we want to boost that up a little bit. Since the sky is nice and blue, you want to kind of make that pop. Uh, green, you can do a nice little curve on the green, so the grass is maybe a little bit greener, but you kind of take the green out of everything else. And then red, this was shot like pretty much in the middle of summer, not really, but it's still warm. So you want to make sure that it conveys the warm tone of a warm day. That looks pretty good. You don't want to go over the top with it, because then it looks weird. But then we can go uh, insert video track, you get one up here. We'll go to media generators and color gradient. This is optional, completely optional. Make sure that you're, because it'll be like a 10 second uh, clip at first, so make sure that you're on the part where it is. This is just a uh, vignette. It just adds a nice cool little effect. I did it in the uh, uh, sample video, but you don't need to do it. I just kind of always like the look because it directs your attention towards the middle. So you just kind of play with it and then we'll stretch it out to the end and lower the opacity a little bit just so that you don't have pure black over here. Kind of just want to darken it a little bit. So that looks pretty good. I'm just messing around with it. You can go much more in depth with it. Uh, and then we will uh, click and shift click so we have both of them selected and maybe you want like a nice little fade in. So we'll go to like one second I prefer this fade it always looks nicer to me just right click on the uh, end we'll go to this one shift click I'm just doing a one second fade and now we have a nice fade in and over here a nice fade out. A little choppy, but it will it'd be a nice fade if uh when you render it. So that is it. Thank you for watching. This is how you make a uh time lapse with using a video in Sony Vegas Pro and Sony Vegas uh movie studio. If you have any tutorial requests for Sony Vegas, I'm pretty good at it, so I can probably do it. I don't care if it's basic, a little more advanced, whatever. I just want to help you guys out. So thanks for watching. Zach from Rocket Zero. Have a good day. Go shoot a time lapse.